Some say the age of giants is over, but they clearly haven't seen the monsters hiding in the mining pits. These machines are so massive, so outrageously huge, they make your average 18-wheeler look like a toy truck from a Happy Meal. We're talking about vehicles taller than houses, heavier than airplanes, and powerful enough to move entire hills. Not just dirt piles, one of these beasts was even so gigantic, it played a Decepticon in a Transformers movie. Yep, that big. In today's video, we're diving into the world of the biggest, baddest, and most extreme mining trucks on the planet. You'll see trucks that haul 500 tons in one go, cranes taller than football stadiums, and machines that are worth more than private islands, so buckle up. Or better yet, strap yourself into something with industrial seatbelts, because what you're about to see is not street legal. Let's roll. Kicking things off is the Bell AZ75710 from Belarus. This isn't just any mining truck, it's the largest haul truck in the entire world. It's built for one job, carrying as much earth, coal, or rock as physically possible. And then a little more. This steel giant weighs 360,000 kilograms, that's 397 tons, empty. Fill it up and it hauls 496 tons of material. That's more than the weight of a fully loaded Airbus A380, the world's largest passenger plane. To give you a size reference, this truck is 26 feet high and over 67 feet long. Imagine two double-decker buses stacked and stretched out. But what's really impressive? It's not just big, it's efficient. This monster can run 23 hours a day thanks to two massive diesel engines that give it a combined 4,600 horsepower. It's got eight enormous tires, each costing over $42,000, and it still manages to hit a top speed of 40 miles per hour. But if this one doesn't impress you enough, wait till you see what's next. If the Bell AZ is the dump truck, then Komatsu's P and HL2350 is the world's largest loading shovel. This Guinness World Record holder is designed to feed giants like the Bell AZ, and feed it does with an 80-ton payload per scoop. That's like lifting an M1 Abrams battle tank every time it digs. Standing over two stories tall, this beast weighs 272 tons and has an electric-powered drive system for maximum torque. Its hydraulic arms can lift materials 23 feet into the air. This is not your backyard loader. This is the king of loaders, and it's not even halfway up our list. Now meet the Caterpillar 6090FS, the largest hydraulic mining shovel in the world. And when we say large, we mean 1,102 tons large. That's five blue whales in weight, or about 15 full-size battle tanks. This machine is a muscle-bound monster used to dig deep into the earth, mostly at mining sites. It can move 103 tons of earth in a single bucket scoop and 10,000 tons per hour. That's enough to fill an Olympic swimming pool in under 10 minutes. And if it looks familiar, you might recognize it from the movie Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. The villain Demolisher was inspired by this very machine. Talk about a Hollywood-sized reputation. Now this next machine isn't a truck, but it definitely earns a spot for being one of the most powerful land machines ever built, the Liebherr LR13000. It's the world's most powerful crawler crane capable of lifting 3,300 tons in one go. That's like stacking 400 elephants and picking them up at once. Its boom can reach a height of 810 feet. Yes, that's two and a half football fields straight up. It's so massive that it's typically used in building nuclear power plants, offshore platforms, and yes, other mega machines. If you thought Earth-based mining was intense, wait till you meet NASA's Crawler Transporter. Built in the 1960s, this 3,300-ton vehicle was designed to carry rockets from NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building to the launch pad. It's also the largest self-powered land vehicle ever built. How big? It's 131 feet long, 114 feet wide, and nearly 30 feet high. 
that's bigger than a baseball diamond and taller than a two-story house. Its top speed, a heart-pounding one mile per hour. But don't laugh, it's carrying an 18 million pound rocket. Wouldn't want to go off-roading with that in the back. Next, let's go old school with Big Muskie, a machine that no longer operates but still holds legendary status. This was the largest dragline excavator ever built, weighing a mind-blowing 12.2 million kilograms. That's 13,448 tons. Its bucket alone could hold 325 tons of earth. That's like scooping out 12 garages full of dirt in one go. During its 22-year service in Ohio, Big Muskie moved twice as much earth as was dug to build the Panama Canal. That's insane. Now for a twist, not a truck, not a digger, but a rail-mounted mega-weapon from World War II, the Schwerer Gustav. Built by the Germans, it was 47 meters long, weighed 1,500 tons, and fired shells that were seven tons each. It could destroy a concrete bunker from 30 miles away. But the real issue? It was just too big. It required over 2,000 men to operate and could only travel by rail. Sure, it wasn't built for mining, but it showed just how far humans would go to build the biggest possible machine. And now, the biggest, heaviest, most monstrous land vehicle ever built, the Bagger 293. This German-built bucket wheel excavator holds the Guinness World Record for the heaviest terrestrial vehicle, weighing 15,650 tons. It's 722 feet long, 310 feet tall, and runs on 20,000 kilowatts of power, enough to power a small town. Its wheel carries 18 buckets, each capable of scooping 7,000 kilograms of coal in one go. This mega machine works in open pit coal mines, literally chewing through mountains and moving forward at just under one kilometer per hour. Wherever it goes, roads must be reconstructed because it destroys the concrete beneath it. This isn't just a truck, it's a moving city. So next time you see a dump truck on the highway, just remember, out there, deep in the mines, there are machines that would dwarf it like a toy. These giant trucks aren't just cool to look at, they're engineering miracles that help fuel the world. Which one blew your mind the most? Let us know in the comments. And if you've ever seen one of these monsters in person, we definitely want to hear your story. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the giant trucks of the mining world, hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Until next time, keep your eyes on the road and maybe out for a Bagger 293.